Tonight, a CBS 4 ICOM investigation is changing federal law, prompting lawmakers to consider giving parents nationwide the ability to better know what's happening behind the closed doors of their school cafeterias. CBS 4 Chief Consumer Investigator Al Sunshine has been on the trail of dirty cafeterias for more than a decade and says the law is about to go national. It was three years ago when Hialeah fifth grader David Hernandez told me about what he saw in his school cafeteria. Like sometimes they're doing their cooking, comes out and they're still in the food. And as I've been telling you for more than a decade, parents had no way of knowing what was going on in their kids' schools' kitchens. Several years ago, local health inspectors were finding potentially serious violations in about one out of every three schools they checked out. Violations like vermin control. Simple English, what does that mean? That they saw some roaches in the kitchen area. They had bugs in the kitchen. They did. And what happened when I started asking local schools to see those reports? And I'm going to call the, the, the resource officer so they can come and arrest you. Okay? Can you please show me your school cafeteria inspection report? As a result of my exclusive CBS4 ITEAM investigation, state lawmakers recently passed a series of new regulations requiring schools to publicly post those reports and also put them online for parents, students, and anybody else to see them. It was all thanks to you and your investigatory work. And now Congress is formally debating considering making it the law across the country. Broward Democrat Debbie Wasserman Schultz says just last week, an amendment to the National School Lunch Program passed its first committee hearings. It requires schools nationwide to follow Florida's lead and publicly post sanitation reports inside of schools and online where anybody can see them. Without that information being posted and accessible to parents, we really don't know whether or not the, the school cafeteria is safe, whether, the, uh, whether it's got the cleanliness necessary, and whether a child's uh, food is, uh, is the safest that it can possibly be. Now, it turns out full congressional debate on the School Nutrition Act is expected to heat up later this fall in Washington. Supporters expect the inspection report provisions to sail through the hearing process. And no matter what happens in Congress, under current Florida law, don't forget, you have the right to see your public school's cafeteria inspection report, and it's also required to be posted online. Look for it. I'm Al Sunshine, CBS 4 News, the I-Team. It must be uh, gratifying to see the positive results of your work. Well, it, it's something that we work for as journalists. We're working for the public and absolutely to try to get it passed in the state and in, in, in the halls of Congress now. It's going to be really great for kids in schools nationally. And yes, we all should be satisfied that this is what we're supposed to be doing. Helpful to all parents. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks, Al. All right. Great mm -hmm. job, Al. Thank you.